Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of simple numerical problems on feedback amplifiers. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine overall voltage gain and feedback factor of a feedback amplifier. We shall also learn how to determine open loop voltage gain of the basic amplifier when the values of feedback factor and overall voltage gain are known. The open loop voltage gain of an amplifier is 2000. We have to determine the voltage gain of the amplifier if negative feedback is introduced in the circuit with a feedback factor of 0 0.01. Let us first jot down the given data. Open loop voltage gain AV equals to 2000. Feedback factor beta equals to 0 0.01. Let us now determine overall voltage gain. AVF equals to AV divided by 1 plus AV times beta. Using values we get 2000 divided by 1 plus 2000 into 0 0.01. That gives us 95.238. Overall voltage gain in dB equals to 20 log of AVF to the base 10. That is equal to 20 log of 95.238 to the base 10. That gives us 39.5762. Here we observe that on application of negative feedback, voltage gain is reduced. The open loop voltage gain of an amplifier is 140. When negative feedback is introduced, it is reduced to 17.5. We have to determine the value of feedback factor. Let us first write down the given data. Open loop voltage gain AV equals to 140. Voltage gain with feedback AVF equals to 17.5. Expression for voltage gain with feedback AVF equals to AV divided by 1 plus AV times beta. Using values we get 17.5 equals to 140 divided by 1 plus 140 times beta. On simplification we get 2450 times beta equals to 122.5. From this equation we get feedback factor beta equals to 0 0.05 or 5%. The open loop voltage gain of an amplifier is 100. When negative feedback is introduced with a feedback factor of 0 0.02 and input voltage is 40 millivolts, we have to determine voltage gain with feedback, feedback voltage and output voltage. Let us first write down the given data. Open loop voltage gain AV equals to 100. Feedback factor beta equals to 0 0.02. Input voltage Vs equals to 40 millivolts. That is equal to 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. Let us now determine overall voltage gain. AVF equals to AV divided by 1 plus AV times beta. Using values we get 100 divided by 1 plus 100 into 0 0.02. That gives us 33.3333. Output voltage V out F equals to AVF into Vs. 
that is equal to 33.3333 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 3. That gives us 1.3333 volt. Expression for feedback voltage Vf equals to beta into V out F. Using values we get 0 0.02 into 1.3333. That gives us 26.6667 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt or 26.6667 milli volts. An amplifier with negative feedback gives an output of 12.5 volts with an input of 1.5 volt. When feedback is removed, it requires 0.25 volt input for the same output. We have to determine voltage gain without feedback and feedback factor beta if input and output are in phase and beta is real. Let us first jot down the given data. When negative feedback is applied, input voltage Vs equals to 1.5 volt. Output voltage V out F equals to 12.5 volts. Let us now determine voltage gain with feedback. AVF equals to V out F divided by Vs. Using values we get 12.5 divided by 1.5 that gives us 8.3333. When negative feedback is removed given input voltage V in equals to 0.25 volt. According to the problem statement output voltage V out equals to V out F that is equal to 12.5 volts. Let us now determine voltage gain without feedback. AV equals to V out divided by V in. Using values we get 12.5 divided by 0 0.25 that gives us 50. Expression for voltage gain with feedback AVF equals to AV divided by 1 plus AV times beta. Using values we get 8.3333 equals to 50 divided by 1 plus 50 times beta. On simplification we get 416.6667 times beta equals to 41.6667. From this equation we get feedback factor beta equals to 0.1 or 10 percent. When negative feedback is applied to an amplifier of gain 200, the overall gain falls to 50. We have to determine the value of feedback factor. Later we have to calculate the value of amplifier gain so that the overall gain becomes 30 if the feedback factor remains the same. Let us first jot down the given data. During the first case, open loop voltage gain AV1 equals to 200. Overall voltage gain AVF1 equals to 50. Expression for overall voltage gain AVF1 equals to AV1 divided by 1 plus AV1 times beta. Using values we get 50 equals to 200 divided by 1 plus 200 times beta. On simplification we get 10,000 times beta equals to 150. From this equation we get feedback factor beta equals to 0 0.015 or 1.5 percent. During the second case, given overall voltage gain 
AVF2 equals to 30. Let the open loop voltage gain be AV2. Expression for overall voltage gain AVF2 equals to AV2 divided by 1 plus AV2 times beta. Using values we get 30 equals to AV2 divided by 1 plus AV2 into 0 0.015. On simplification we get 0 0.55 times AV2 equals to 30. From this equation we get open loop voltage gain AV2 equals to 54.55. A negative feedback amplifier is shown. Without feedback, gain of the amplifier is 5000. Given R1 equals to 1 kilo ohm and R2 equals to 9 kilo ohm. We have to determine feedback fraction, the overall voltage gain and output voltage if input voltage is 2 millivolts. Let us first write down the given data. Open loop voltage gain AV equals to 5000. Input voltage Vs equals to 2 millivolts. Value of resistor R1 equals to 1 kilo ohm. Value of resistor R2 equals to 9 kilo ohm. Let us now determine feedback fraction. Beta equals to R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Using values we get 1 divided by 1 plus 9 that is equal to 0 0.1 or 10 percent. Overall voltage gain AVF equals to AV divided by 1 plus AV times beta. Using values we get 5000 divided by 1 plus 5000 into 0 0.1. That gives us 9.98 which is approximately equal to 10. Output voltage V out F equals to AVF into Vs. Using values we get 9.98 into 2. That gives us 19.96 millivolts, which is approximately equal to 20 millivolts. So today we have solved a couple of simple numerical problems on feedback amplifiers. By solving these problems, we have learned how to calculate feedback factor and overall voltage gain of a feedback amplifier. We have also learned how to determine open loop voltage gain of the basic amplifier when the values of feedback factor and overall voltage gain are known. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.